Hey everyone, Mr. Mom Collectibles back once again with another video in my series of mods from Mike Lane for the Hot Toys Back to the Future DeLorean. And today we're going to be focusing in on the trunk of the vehicle or the bonnet and trunk. And Mike Lane has a fantastic, very simple mod. This is the bonnet and trunk carpets. Now these are carpets that are adhered um, to the underside of the hood and then also some foam and carpeted inserts that go in around the spare tire area. Once again, just to elevate the look of the vehicle. Um, if you're looking for mods that don't do really any physical damage to the vehicle, just want to elevate the look, these are the perfect series of mods. As you see here, it comes with these four inserts um, that are double-sided. These go actually under the hood of the vehicle, and I'll show you where they go. And then you also have a foam insert that is not adhesive. You just It just inserts fit, fit as is. Um, around the wheel well and then a carpeted piece that lays on top and it has a little notch there you see that you can still turn the car on and off and not have to remove any of that stuff which is really fantastic um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to focus in a little bit here and look at the wheel well area where you would um, put the AAA batteries inside the car so you want to make sure that's screwed down it's not loose or anything like that so this is a foam insert that goes inside as you can see it's cut to fit you don't have, there's no double-sided tape nothing permanent it just fits right in the, the cavity as you see there looks really nice and then there is an actual carpeted piece that just lays right on top and you see that little notch right there um, that you still can access turning the car on and off so that's what it looks like there very simple but like I said it just elevates the look of the vehicle so you don't see that wheel there that's kind of like how it's meant to be and now these little corners here um, these have a double-sided adhesive to them um, like a like a tape or a 3m like that and what you want to do is you peel it off you want to really make sure that you um, make sure you're putting the right triangle on which side because the the left and the right are cut one way versus the top and the bottom so you see there's a couple times when I thought I had it the right way and then I had to make sure I had it uh, aligned correctly because once you put this on the adhesion is very strong it's gonna be very difficult to remove it so you see I, I started lining up there's like when you lift up the hood hot toys already kind of pre-cut these four triangles so you're just lining them up and they just fit right in very nicely and easy and you see there i was just basically lining up to make sure it was the right angle and once you put that on as, just, as i'm doing here you just want to make sure once it's on it's lined up you just press that on and then i just ran around ran my thumb around the edges just to make sure proper adhesion everything was good to go and we had a nice solid nice solid fit there and then what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to repeat this process for the other three, but it's the same process. You just peel the back off, make sure you line it up, put it on, very simple. And you'll see right here, I have that look. And what's great about this is that when the hood's closed, I do a demonstration of this, um, you could, when you're adding the foam in these pieces, it actually does not, I want to repeat, it does not make the hood any bulkier where it lifts up. So when you close the hood, you still have a perfect seam around the edges. And you'll see me demonstrate that. I'm just kind of removing the one piece so you can see access to the tire. But turning the car on and off, it, you just lift the hood up, turn the car on. But what's really great is when you close the hood, um, one concern that I, I got questions about, those foam, like you're adding a little bit extra to the underside, it does not raise the hood up to where it does not line up. So when you'll see me, I close the hood and I run my finger around the edges, it's still absolutely flush, which is fantastic. You see here, the seam is flush, doesn't bulk it out any any uh, anymore. So this is a fantastic, easy mod. And be sure to check out links in the descriptions below. And make sure you check out and subscribe to my channel. I have more mods coming very soon from Mike Lane. So make sure to hit that notification for more videos. Thank you and take care.